Hi guys, Mrs. Elvitz here and welcome back to my channel. Let's begin. Let me get to your summary and summary is the place where you can score most of your marks if you just follow these steps. Okay, so your opsumong or your summary is a summary of important facts, steps or tips and in most cases um, they'll, they'll ask you in your first additional language to do steps or tips. We'll look at that now. This is an example of um, a few things you can need to look through. These are the Afrikaans ones. I'll go to the English in a moment. So you read through your text, read instructions carefully. You don't normally go to your instructions and you have to because your instructions tells you what to do. Make sure you know which summary to do. When they say which summary, it means uh, not which uh, text, but um, how do you need to summarize? Is it facts? Is it tips? Is it um, Venka? What do you look at? Make sure you know what you need to summarize. Read the text again. Highlight your important parts. Do your planning. Remember that you have to have a heading that says the planning. Keep to the format asked. It's always point form. It's never in paragraph. Uh, do your corrections on your planning, then do your final. Your final must have a heading, but it's not part of your word count. And then you have to write your word count at the bottom. So your hints, your tips, or your steps would be ideas, venka, of stopper. When they ask you to change sentences into hints, tips, or steps, you have to start with the verb or je moet. For example, how to be a good friend, luister na je maat, there we've got the verb first, or you could say je moet na je maat luister. If there is a negative, you would say je moet na je maat luister nie, but that's not how to be a good friend. <laughs> um, so make sure you understand what you need to do. When you summarize, you have to use uh, the main ideas of each paragraph. And then you have to just summarize the important ideas um, in each paragraph using the normal stompy sentence. You do not start with a verb or yemut. Then remember, you have to write one full sentence. It's normally a simple sentence. Make sure you have a verb in every sentence or point. No conjunctions. Do not combine two sentences. Never start with us or a conjunction. Only one sentence per point is accepted. Change the sentences into your own words if you can. I will give you a tip in a moment how to avoid uh, trying to change sentences if you struggle with Afrikaans. Leave out irrelevant words. Avoid losing marks for translating directly. Um, I prefer using direct uh, quotes, but I will show you how much um, is risked. Uh, you are risking um, in losing, uh, and you can make the decision. Stick to the main idea of each point. Okay, so this is your marking guideline. So they've got um, seven facts that they will give you marks for, and then three uh, three marks for language. So it gives you a total of 10. Now, depending on how many facts you've got correct, you'll have a corresponding language mark. So your language at the end has nothing to do with it. So if you've got one, two, three correct facts, you will get one mark, um, no matter how bad your language was, as long as obviously they could read your sentences and it does make sense. Four to five, you'll get two marks and six to seven, you'll get three marks. But now, if you quoted seven correct facts, then they will not give you any marks for language. That means if you want to take the risk in quoting all seven of the sentences, you only run the risk of losing three marks. So think about that. You could get seven, so that's 70% for your summary, um, if you quote. I would suggest this to anybody who struggles um, to change sentences um, or take words out or make sentences shorter, rather just quote uh, get your seven facts if you if you can find them in the in the passage, and try and avoid uh, messing up sentences and then losing marks. Right. So here, this is from your 2018 paper. So we need to summarize seven things that you need to do to have a community garden or to start a community garden. Um, you have to write it in your own full sentences. Write the main ideas, pintsgewijs, never paragraph, your number from one to seven, no more than 70, more, um, 70 words. Here we go.
Okay. When we read this, you will see that in your first paragraph, there is nothing um, factual. It is simply an introductory paragraph. So we look at our first sentence. You look for words that start with a verb because it gives you an instruction. So there you see there are already two facts in the first paragraph. So be careful. Sometimes they won't have one fact per paragraph. Make sure you can identify them. Here you've got your third fact. This one starts with a conjunction, so be careful. There's your one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth. And that last one also does not start with a verb, um, but that is the main idea. So here you go. Your direct quote is on the one side and changing it into your own words on the other side. You make this choice. Um, make sure that you start if you're changing it into your own words with a verb or like I said with a yaymut or a yaymuni. Your choice ladies and gents if you have the guts if you do understand the, the language and you can change the sentences do so if not if you struggle just quote. Thanks for watching guys remember if you've got any questions you can follow me on Instagram at Afrikaans Classroom. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like and share.